Sherlock's Behind the Scenes is back for another busy season. Expect even more well-known faces. Fashion shoots. Openings. And of course, all the action at SLHQ. Join me and my team to see what life is really like at a busy online magazine. Morning, pals. Morning. How are you doing? Yeah, what are you talking about the podcast today? Book. Reading anything at the moment? I'm reading something called Rough Magic by Tara Pryor. It's coming out next month. Tra did you get officially married this weekend? I did. Congratulations. How was that? that was lovely, thank you. I don't feel very married. That's no. why I didn't even say anything no. to you. But when I did, it sounds awful. It was a bit of a joke. Well, someone said to me yesterday, like, oh, I know some people, they do it. No one has any family in it, and I thought yeah. of you. Tomorrow I went in her jeans. No, so why? Why did that happen? No, because I got married in Israel. For me, having this civil wedding, which just had to tick the box so that we were legally married here. Us too, but any excuse for a Are you all reading the same book? No, I don't have time to read, Rachel. Not even on your commute? No, because I'm doing like a million other things. You... Welcome to the Share That's Highlights podcast with me, Charlotte Collins. Don't forget to rate, review, subscribe, and tell your friends. See you next time. Charlotte, how did that go? Good. Really nice chat. I like when we mix up who's in the podcast. Mara's been a great new addition. Patty's always really good. Heather, obviously, is always great. So, yeah, it's really nice. Good chat today. What are we talking about today in the podcast? What is the most special meal you've ever had? Or most memorable meal? What's the most memorable meal you've ever had? A dinner where Ben didn't propose, but I thought he was going to. We were in Mendoza. In Mendoza. Yeah, sorry, I've talked about this before. But we were in Mendoza. <laughs> we were the only people there. We had dinner in their garden at the bottom of the Andes. Babbling brook, roaring fire, ponchos to wear. Very authentic. Very memorable. What's the most special meal you've ever had? The Three Chimneys on the Isle of Skye. My family's from there and we always wanted to go. Lovely seafood. It's meant to be my most memorable meal and now I can't remember anything I ate, but trust me, it was great. Place in Tel Aviv, tasting many, 10 different dishes. Quality of the food, Middle Eastern style. I mean, delish. I could taste it now. Lars, what's the most memorable meal you ever ate? Probably I mean, last week, something in Greece. Nice. Eating the sun, that always does it. Probably tzatziki, yeah. bread, Greek salad. I had whale in Iceland, which is pretty oh great. They offered us puffin as well. My mum was like, we can't eat the puffin. Eating a whale sounds worse than eating a puffin. I yeah. tried a tiny bit. What kind of whale was it? I don't know, I can't remember. Try not to ask too many questions. Teppanyaki place in Japan. Wagyu beef. I feel like it's got a different name. What is it? Kobe beef. That's Kobe beef, yeah, yeah. And it's in Kobe. And it was delicious. It melts in your mouth. Street food bolognese in Bologna. It's amazing. Oh, there you go. That's my most memorable meal. Oops. When I say colour, you say wow. Colour. Wow. <laughs> Jess, are you ready? Alright, make sure it's gold. Where are we going now? We're going to a... Colour. Wow. Colour. Wow. Colour. Wow. Event over in Pittsburgh. Yeah. You indulge me too much. <laughs> <laughs> what do you like about Colour Wow? Really good limp, fine hair. They give loads of volume, they're conditioned, they're amazing. Such a good brand. Celebrity hairstylist Patrick Wilson is there. Brand new product, months in the making. There's been so much research behind it, so I'm super excited to see what's in it. This is Jess. Hi. Hi. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to see you. Hi, my name's Patrick Wilson, and I'm artistic director for Colour Wow UK. What can you see? Dream filter. Free shampoo spray treatment. With the dream filter, we spray that on, leave it on for one to three minutes, shampoo it off, and it's going to give us a real fresh colour. How's shampoo going? Yeah, going great. <laughs> yeah, that's temperature okay for you. Yeah, that's perfect. Thank you. I actually quite like holding this. I feel like I've got a bit of power. I actually feel like a proper presenter. There we go. Thank you so much. What's that? Going to be doing for really nice beachy wave, alternate direction, ultimate cool girl hair. I like nice. hair like Patrick's. Your hair is pretty amazing. You look alive. It's actually natural. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, just woke up like this. I use the dream coat for curly hair. Just spritz it in and then just scrunch dry. How you doing? My name is Dr. Joe Sincata, chief formulator of all the innovative products within Color Wow. Specifically made for color treated hair. It's to keep that color the same as when you leave the salon till the next time you go to the salon. It doesn't have any ingredients in it that distort the color. Color, this color your hair. Today we're featuring a brand new arrival dream filter that removes the minerals from your hair. People don't realize in their tap water every time they shampoo their hair, minerals in the water actually deposit on the hair, making the hair dull, making the hair weighed down. Things like copper and iron, if you have lighter colored hair, they're discoloring the hair. Good! We're just finishing up, Rich. Hair has been transformed. Years and years of buildup. It all disappears. It's just one use of the dream filter. How did that go? It went really well. We've both got our hair done. A nice little treat in the Monday afternoon. What do you think about the dream filter? It's brilliant. Anything that saves your hair while you're having it dried and coloured. An amazing product. Why not? It looks so bright. Your hair looks so bright. Super blonde. Good morning, Olivia Wayne. How are you? Pretty good. How are you? Very well. What is in your bag? A lovely selection of free people garments. So what have you got? Lovely mustard smock. Such disappointing weather because when I had a look at all their things, it was that beautiful sunshine. It's spitting out there. It feels almost inappropriate to be wearing such summery things right now. So what's this next one? Really nice floral. Ammonian dresses again. I'm back on the dress. Fine. So you're gonna wear one of these on the show? Yeah. Ooh, black. 
a little bit gothic. But maybe more appropriate for today. Olivia Wayne, what are you wearing now? Yeah, this is great, this one. It is cool, yeah. I think I'll go for this one. Happy with that? Really happy. What are we doing on the show today? Love Island started. How do you feel about that? 8.30 is like, I'm not watching it, I'm not doing it. Then of course, what did I do for an hour and a half last night? Did you watch Love Island? The whole thing. There was a bit of juice. Talking about going away with your partner. Where's your favorite place to go away with your partner? Anywhere hot and sunny and lovely. Good food, a nice beach and good sea. We have the ladies from Sipsmith. Hi, I'm Cheska. And I'm Jessie and we're from Sipsmith Gym. Gin fan? Huge gin. Oh, I think we're doing an accessories haul. Good morning, Charlotte Collins. How are you? Very well. Still married? Still. Yeah. Do you know what? We've got a lot of summer stuff happening on the show today. If you look outside, it's actually incredibly dull and miserable. Chat. We're going to talk about Love Island, which started again last night. Very, very happy it's back. Who's the fittest on it? Sandwich guy. Joe. 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 Who's the fittest guy? Joe 23. His name is Sandwich guy. Tommy Fury. He's got quite nice eyes. Quite nice eyes. Yeah. It feels quite deep, doesn't it? But he's got really pissed in the eyes. I felt a connection. The length of time you need to have been with a partner before you consider going on a summer holiday together? Seven months. That sounds about right. Then Olivia and I are going to talk through some summer accessories then sips me making some summer cocktails you're not gonna believe how perfect this is so i just grabbed a pair of shoes in case and don't tell me this is not the best coordination of footwear for dress i didn't plan for this it's for written chef. in the stars or as i would say in yiddish for chef lemony twist orange twist gin basil gin spritz red snapper fruit. yeah i just should we take out the negroni talk about the gin tonic but it's an orangey summery one gin basil smash gin spritz and we might make one red snapper that should be fine if it goes over 10 minutes that's okay so i think it would be great for people to see like yeah. actually how to make it. Okay. Which favourite drink on the list? I think it'd have to be the gin spritz. What are we doing today? Yeah, we work for Sip Smith Gin Distillery in West London here to show how to make amazingly simple cocktails on Wild Gin Day. When's Wild Gin Day? It's coming Saturday. up this Saturday, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, 8th of June. It'll be 8th of June. It's also the Queen's birthday, I believe, isn't it? It yeah. is the Queen's Always. birthday. And she, she loves, loves gin. gin. Heather Steele, what are you wearing today? Dressed by Ganny. Yeah, nice dress. Yeah. Ganny. Thank you. I thought it was for a wedding. Now I need to wear it all the time to get a good cost per wear price. Well, I don't mind. Rebecca Hull, what are you wearing today? A denim jumpsuit from Mango and some top yeah. shoes. Guys, I've completely lost my sheep. Do you know where they are? What? My sheep. I'm so used to this outfit. She looks amazing. Charlotte Leah Collins, what are you wearing today? I'm wearing this Reformation dress. Quite less portable because Reformation has launched in the UK. And then finally, we'll talk about it. Where's that hat from? £29. Pounds. What do you think? Oh. Yay, nay. I don't know. So I look. I think you look perfect. It's very nice. <laughs> it makes me look like a little pea. Yay or nay to the hat? I absolutely love it. I just think it would look a bit tween on me. Yeah, I might buy it for me for the beat. So I'm probably yeah. going to look a bit in the day. I think it's quite cool. What do you reckon, Bells? Yes or no? Hard yes. Hello and welcome to the Shoe Luck Show. Now I'm not convinced I am going to watch it after all. I don't take it seriously at this point because I just feel like they're all mixed up in the next few uh, weeks anyway. I just have never got into it. That's not to say I wouldn't enjoy it, I just haven't. But I, I quite like the regular, the regularity of it. This is my favourite coming up. What do you call it? Shell taco. taco. You're wrong, it's very subtle. Now, I just had to say, we do like a gin and tonic. Uh, Becky, we are, we are. We are. Like tonic. I just can't believe that this is the majority of classic. Thanks so much for joining us. Hey, five minutes! Five, five minutes! Oh, five. Straight in there. How's that taste good? I think that one's the best one. Which one? The fizz? Yes, babe. Yeah. And what was your favourite? Prosecco one. But I am a Prosecco fiend. Is this the straight out gin and tonic? Yeah, it's nice. Ooh, that's a bit of me. You happy with that? Ooh, yeah, I'm just going to stay here with my basil. The salad, it's fine. The uh, celebrations have already started. This is virgin. Oh, is it? Yeah. Since you asked. Oh, I'm getting married in 12 days, did you know? I did Every know day that. How did that go? I thought it good. energy, funny. funny. I really enjoyed it too. <laughs> <laughs> One more time. <laughs> oh my god, I can't. <laughs> Have fun. It's just a lovely way to de stress after the show. <laughs> oh, hi guys. Hi, Rich. How are you doing? Good, Good, how are you? Very, very well. What are you doing? We're going through the papers. Ooh, what's going on in the world at the moment? As usual, I'm just kind of staring at the food. These look very complicated. Though. Chilled pomegranate cheesecake. It looks beautiful, Ooh. but I would just never make that at home. I have something on insomnia. You suffer from insomnia. Uh, yeah, I've got better. I struggle with sleep. This yeah. is nice. The queen in rainbow form. What term do you like the queen in? I like her in green, actually. Mm. She's good, isn't she? She likes a bit of colour. I like what she was wearing to meet the trump. I just can't even think about it. It was so royal. Tiaras, gowns. Oh, of honour, sashes, and everyone looked 
so bored. Have you heard of Pinch of Non? Yes, they don't do any press. It's the biggest selling cookbook oh. in a very long time. Out stripping so all other non fiction Look. books. They don't really like being interviewed. They're quite secretive. Hey, Featherstone and Kate Allenson Weight Loss website. Now they have a new six month diet plan to help you reach your weight loss goal. Here they explain how it works. Mm. I've never heard of them. Yeah, it's all meant to be very tasty food, but, but low cow. Oh, I have just only come about this guy. The prison guy. Yes, the hot he pellet. is absolutely beautiful. So is he still with Chloe? Green, well, clearly it looks not. Like not. She had his baby, didn't she? After, yes. After she missed their baby son's first birthday. I mean, he, no didn't words. Did he leave his previous wife, who was pregnant, to be with her? No. I saw a picture of him recently. This may have been it. Who's, that's who's Chloe Green. Is that not her as well? No, that's not her. Oh, she's a Romanian see. model. Yeah. Very beautiful. Upside down. Could armpit transplants really banish body odor? And should we do it looking off camera or to camera? Tabletop. I'll go get you one. We've got one upstairs. And you come in yeah, yeah. So I'm going to ask you what you're doing. Do you just need to come with a lift with you because you're scared? Yeah. How old are you? Doesn't matter. It's a big fear of mine. I'm not big on lifts. So what are we doing today? We are filming with the one and only Katie Jane Hughes. Hi. I'm Katie Jane Hughes, celebrity and editor and makeup artist. You excited? I think we're all really excited. Just look at her Instagram. Honestly, the amount of times I've tried to recreate her makeup looks on Instagram. Really? That's not a joke. She came in and I was like, <laughs> and she's super cool, very nice, very friendly. So I think it's going to be fun. So what are we getting now? We're just getting a mirror so that she can see what she's doing as she goes. Oh, don't put include that. It shows your face. Hi, Sherlock. I'm Katie Jane Hughes, celebrity and editor and makeup artist. And I'm going to show you how to get super glowy, luminous skin with very few steps. Hi, Mason. Hi, nice. Hi, How are you doing? Yeah, I know. I've got one sentence that helps me do a skin I know what it is. What is it? Chicken and a can of coke. Almost. <laughs> what is it? There's fucking chickens, fucking shocking. <laughs> are you from near there? Yeah, from the Southport, which nobody knows where it is in Manchester. No, Southport, you're from Southport, yeah, she yeah. said. Yeah. How would you describe your signature makeup look? Glowy, fresh, always real skin with an editorial but fun twist. So my skin is clean and fresh. I just took off a little bit of makeup. What is the one skincare rule you live by? Less is more and only try one new product at a time to really know what's working for you. Gentle enough to use every day, but I just use them when I need to. What's the funnest thing about your job? The people. So right now I'm working with Elemis, the glow expert, which is so exciting because skincare and skin prep is the biggest part of the makeup job in itself. Skin isn't right, nothing else will be right. I don't want any of the textures that you're putting on your face to seep into the eye area. What I love about Elemis, they have the most insane texture library. So I'm always shopping. Skincare actually has a physical, visible effect as well as anti-aging or sort of actual thing that it does for your skin over time. Texture in skincare helps the makeup. Apply it and blend it into those zones first. Who yeah. are your favorite people to do makeup on? Ashley Graham is by far one of the most infectious, uplifting people to be around. Maybe get to her on any given day. Be like, oh, I'm having an okay day. And you would leave feeling way better. I use concealer straight up. Fine. Okay. Okay. Do you? Oh, so let's talk about that then. I do not always use foundation. I actually pretty much exclusively use concealer. Stretch concealer from Glossier is one of my favorites. And I use it with a fluffy brush and I spread it really, really sheer over the face. It gives you this insane radiance and glow. What three things you always have in your makeup bag? Whatever lipstick I'm wearing that day, phone charger, the Elemis Kefir tea mist, because it's just so refreshing. Especially in New York when it's hot and sweaty. There is no such thing as eye gloss that doesn't crease. It's not physically possible. What is new for makeup in 2019? It's just getting more experimental, more mature demographics, where more fun colors, more bright pops, just being more playful. Really Really get the bristles kind of damp and dewy. If you want to be done, what are we about to do now? I'm getting my makeup done. You're getting your makeup done? <laughs> yeah. It's not that one. <laughs> we'll take it from day to night. So let's have the green mist. Do you need the mirror? No, green mist, moisturizer. Yeah, that one, that'll do. A concealer. Laura Mercier number two and number three. I'm excited. I am so excited, obviously. Because when Katie got me, she was like, why do you your makeup then, on? I was like, yeah. now you are. What else have you got for behind the scenes today, Rich? I've got a shoot with an interior designer for the outlet. Yeah, what are you doing today? I'm going for lunch. Where are you going? I don't know. I'm on the weirdest diet and I can't eat anything. What diet is it? It's called AIP. What's that sound for? Autoimmune paleo. I basically can't have nightshades, so peppers, oh, tomatoes. Nice. I don't really eat them anyway. I do like aubergine though. I love baba ganoush. Basically can't have dairy, gluten, soy, sugar. You can have meat and vegetables. You can have like a lot of coconut products. Don't put that in. What are you doing? What have we got here? No, we're just playing right now with some textures. I'm kind of going to give her a glossy eye because she said that she loves it. Start building my textures and figuring out what my base is going to be. That's the trickiest part of it all. My favorite way to play is to pick a product or a palette and just play without any preconceived idea of what the end is going to be. The best way for anybody to play with makeup is just keep building and keep tweaking things till it gets to Way of excitement. We're gonna do a metallic glossy eye, a bit of longevity to it. I was kind of gonna play in coppers. She's got white eyes. They also kind of want to play in green, but I drink more toward coppers. Coppers, you can't go wrong. A five minute day to night makeup look. As you do it, can you just chat me through what yeah. you're doing? Loose powder on the eye, eyeshadow, glossier, lid star, and cub. From the lash line up, you only blend the edges, but not the whole thing. Have fun, Bex. Right, use a clean finger to blend the edges. Anything that you're using fades up toward the brow. Take a little brush. 
buff it off. Tea, cafe, mist. I'm getting the skin wet with this and allowing me to go in with some more moisturizer. Sweep it just over the cheeks to keep everything really, really light and fresh. And then she's done. Look yeah, I how like, love the, that the color. color like really reacts with your eyes. Also, this it's shade amazing. is amazing. Okay, oh, thank you. Katie Jane, he's just took selfies on my phone. They're way better than any selfie I've ever had on there. Oh, Becky, how did that go? I thought that went so well. Rich, I even managed to get my makeup done. It was brilliant. We got loads of really juicy tips. She was up for doing everything, really relaxed. That was super fun. We all got so much takeaway. We watching it the whole time. Like, I can't wait for our people to see it. Are you going to go out tonight? I feel like I should. I have to make some emergency plans. Good morning, Laura. How are you? Good morning, Rich. I'm good. Where are we going now? To Susie Hoodless's office in Notting Hill. Hi, I'm Susie Hoodless and I'm an interior designer. To film our third and final shoot for the Outnet. And who is Susie Hoodless? An incredible interior designer. I'm actually so excited to meet her. See her office. Has done some really big projects all over the world. Barbados, she's doing the television centre currently. What is her interior design style? Quite bold with colour, quite clean lines. She has an incredible ability to make things still look simple and clean, but lived in and colourful, which is quite a difficult thing to do. That's Susie, sorry. Yeah. I'm Richard. Nice Hi, Richard. to meet you. So what are we doing? The premise of this is that we've done three different shoots with different women for the outlet. Women's success stories, how we made it, plus a bit of a chat about style and what we looked well, that kind of thing. Phil after is gonna arrive at one. If you don't mind have interview style chat while you have your makeup done. This is what we're putting you in today. This one is preferable, then we've got a backup as well. We've got some amazing heels. You only have to sit down, is that okay? Yeah, we'll have, a look. have a look, see how yeah. you feel. So does that all sound okay? Yep, yeah, sounds fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Say to Rich, we had a quick yeah. storm. You look so good in colour. Colour's definitely yeah, better on me. That was what we based on. Um, that outfit looks amazing. Tell me how you feel. We love these with it. Okay, let's see what you think. The colours yeah. together are just so amazing. What do you think, Susie? Yeah, yeah, well done. Do you feel comfortable? Yeah, that's fine. the most important thing. Yeah, yeah. I've got lots of green. Mm -hmm. It does really well colour. Yeah. You're a preen fan? Yeah. 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 So Collie was saying that she can't find dresses anywhere that look good other than preen. I think because so few places do a drop waist. And if that's what suits you, they're literally one of the only brands where you can find that shape. They're sort of pretty, but they're cool yeah. and modern as well. It's yeah. quite an unusual thing for a floral dress. I thought my yeah. Charlotte Tilbury lipstick. Which one is Charlotte tells me that I should wear? Are you friends with Charlotte Tilbury? I am friends with Charlotte It's one of those kind of nude ones. <laughs> Might be Penelope. No, it's not that. Nude like Kate. Very Victorian. No. How many nudes are there from Charlotte yeah, Tilbury? Yeah. Sexy Sienna. The Queen. Velvet Underground. Pillow talk. Are we new? Pillow talk. Guess that one. Yeah. yeah. You should definitely have pillow talk. She said you need the whole pillow talk look. I'll, I'll send it to you. We'll go for that look then. How would you describe your interior style? Very instinctive. Completely inspired by the client and the architecture. So then I left there and I went and worked at House and Garden for a while. What's your favourite project you ever worked on? I always find that a very difficult question because I'm sure there's been one or two that have slipped through the net. But generally, I love what we do. Because our aesthetic's very strong, very uncompromising. Clients come to us because they love what we do. They've probably got an eclectic style. They love colour or contemporary design. Oh, I mean ridiculous. Yeah, that is yeah. ridiculous. Every project we do is very different, so that makes it really exciting. So you'll hit that way. That's it. What are your top tips for interior design on a budget? Decluttering. Keeping things oh, simple yeah. is a mantra of mine. Buying pieces you love, really good pieces. Colour, I think, is really good. It's a really inexpensive, simple way of making a big change very fast on a budget and making it a very personal thing as well. Charlotte, what do you like about this outfit? Sure, I love all of it. I think the colour together just look amazing. I love an unexpected pop of orange with a bit of red. And you can see how effortless it looks. And I think people think that, God, flouncy red dress and orange shoes would be completely intimidating. But Susie proves that they're pretty effortless as well. What have we got here? I'm going to show you a project we did in the Highlands. We started it about 15 years ago. And it's gone on for many years, overlooking this incredible lot. I went up there, totally fell in love with it. The drive was 13 miles long. The drive is 13 miles long? The drive is 13 miles long. Designed by Moshe Safti, an architect. He just finished Toronto Airport. This was his first residential project. Wow. The client's brief was this house is glass, granite, and steel. I love it, but it needs to be a family home. I mean, this designed by Care Flint is just a very, very rare sofa, Joseph Frank fabric. It's completely uncompromising. Those are Swedish fireplaces, Fornacetti furniture, unbelievably rare chair. It's a desk that closes up into a box. This is a very casual dining room. 18th century Irish mahogany table, 20th century Arnie Jacobson chairs. 16th century wow. tapestry called the Battle of Zama. So this is the sitting room. It's a round room. And what we ended up doing is having these vast curved back sofas made. So they made them in Newcastle. I got them to bring the frames up 
two sites months. just to sort of see the scale of them. These rooms were so vast, you know, there's no rules. So when you ask me about my interior design rules, a project like this, there are no rules you can begin to follow. You've got to sit in this space and just think, how are we going to deal with it? How did that go? Yeah. So well. Oh my God, I feel so inspired just walking to her. I really want to her to do up. your house <laughs> How to do my house up. <laughs> yeah, the outfit looks amazing. I think the selection. women that we've worked with have all been so different, haven't they? Yes. And it's just proof that yeah, it kind of works for everybody. Uh, Where are we now? In the heart of Notting Hill. We're at the new Hayley Menzies pop-up. Hi, I'm Hayley Menzies, the founder of Hayley Menzies, which is a women's wear brand. She's a British designer. She's really well known for her Navajo style cardigans. That's her thing. Very oversized, with some fraying, kind of aztec -y details. But she's really expanded her collection. She's got this whole fabulous pop-up dedicated to her new season pieces. So we're going to go and have a look. Hey. Good afternoon, Hayley. How are you? Hey, I'm well. How would you describe your signature style? Everything's very maximalist. A blend of lots of different colour, print, pattern. But our signature style, I'd say, is our long duster cardigan. In the summer, we use a cotton yarn. And in the winter, super fine merino. If they think about Hayley Menzies, then they would think about the long leopardess cardigan. What is the one style and rule you live by? More is more. Can you show me your three hero pieces from the collection? I'm wearing one. Well, actually, essentially mm -hmm. two. Because it's a twin set. This is my tiger frill blouse and maxi skirt. Super proud about that. And I just love the nomadic inspirations I've collected over the years. Design the fabrics. Yes, yeah. do really. Hero piece number two. This a kaleidoscopic trip through Africa. I just like the boldness of it. I love the color combination. You'd wear this and walk into a room and everyone's going to ask where it's from. What's the fabric? Silk crepe machine, printed and sourced in the UK. Do you recommend people wear different pieces together? Yeah, how would you start? So, I love that with that. I just wore this to a wedding the other day. With a matching Alice band. You've just got to be confident, haven't you? You You're really do because it. people are going to stare. Okay, here are piece number three. I really like this. This is called the Marrakesh Duster, and if you see down there, we've got Lex of Lurex. Is this the first time you've done a wider collection? Yeah. The silk pieces I introduced for spring, summer 19 this season. They've done so incredibly well. I thought that they would do well, but stores like Harrods and Liberties are on their fourth orders. Wow. We've had massive reorders across 60, 70% of our buyers. It's been a business changer. It's amazing. Who brought you yesterday? No. Holly Vernon. What yeah. did she say? When Frida Kahlo meets Versace and becomes something beautiful. And oh, oh my dream. god. It's I know. Frida yeah. Kahlo and Versace, I was like, no, this is amazing. Yeah. It's like Annabelle or May Clay. It is, isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah, You're yeah. not the first person <laughs> to say no, that. Are you going to try a couple of things on? Oh, yeah, I think I will. What are you going to go for? I need to see this on. Maybe the left. Let's try those pieces then. Okay, here's the dress. That's for the jacket oh, front and these pair of heels. Awesome. Where's the hair bang on? There's a lot of green. Obviously, you could layer up for a wedding, but actually, I love it like that with amazing pair of yeah, heels. Awesome. I love a matching headband. So cool. 90s, isn't it? You really preempted this trend. Charlotte Collins, what are you wearing now? Outfit number two, Hayley Menzies. Crocodile print in leopard colours. Caftan dress. So nice for okay. your swimming costume. Really nice and light, so actually this is going to look really good. On the beach. Add a pair of heels. We'll have the evening too. How's the pop-up going? So uh, I started on Portobello Market nine years ago. So to now have this incredible space, it's a pop-up shop, sure. But to have this space where I can really showcase my collection, it's a great thing. We're here for another two weeks. We move our 16th of June. How did that go? That was so good. It's so lovely when you get to see a small brand that has just come on leaps and bounds. So lovely to see the space to see the new collection and also got a sneak peek at what's coming for autumn winter and it is so good and it closes on the 16th of june so don't miss out annoying broken huh thank you what have you got there Just i'll you. give you three guesses right is it a bin it's a bin it's a broken bin that's very annoying it oh there what's it bin for it's my house your new house Georgie's so sorry to keep you. Okay. Would you give me two seconds? Okay. Have a seat, I'll be right with you. Yeah. FYI, they're recording podcast. Oh yes. I've been told off a lot this morning. Good morning, Georgie, how are you? Good morning, I'm all right, thanks, Rich. I'm wearing normal clothes again, it's quite nice. Mm. Not to be in my trucky bums. Is it all done? Is it all done? Uh, ask me in 2020 if it's all done. Did you wake up this morning in that house? Yeah, I wake up on Tuesday morning in that house. It's good, it's quite daunting. What are you going to have done? I mean everything. But I've had it smudged. I've had the negative energy smoked out of the house. I saw that. It wasn't very you. My friend emailed me. She was like, you have lost the plot. Well, then, what are we doing today? I've got Bow Babe coming on the show to do it. Hello, I'm Deborah James, uh, also known as Bow Babe. What are we doing today? We're going to talk a little bit about my diagnosis, about cancer, about living with cancer. Just kind of how you plough on with life, I think, despite some of the rubbish that's going on. What's new with you? I have been involved really recently with just loads of sporting stuff. It's really good for me to be a national gymnast, which not that many people know about me. Obviously I can't do any of that now. I've been involved with a podcast called The Tripod on BBC Sport. I've been taken to my first triathlon which happens this weekend. So Wait, you're doing a triathlon this weekend? Yeah, only a mini one. It's still my first one. Only problem is I have never got in the water. You, you can know, swim? I can swim but I've never got into open water. The first time I do that will be in a triathlon which will be interesting. But isn't that a lot harder, open water? Yeah, I think so. Okay, yeah. well, good luck. Brie, how's the show going to run? Chat on the sofa. Accessories haul here from Oliver Boner. And then we'll be back on the sofa to have an interview with your home with new accessories and costly us such 
great things. You'd look for one of those. Is it weird? We just was thinking. No, because it's George's main shop. So oh, and then I'll like that. This is thirty eight pounds. Yeah, great, great wedding gift. I've just got these now. What's your pick of the haul? I love these. What do you like about them? They look quite Moroccan, don't they? So they do. I was thinking cool that. about those is it's quite an easy way of bringing colour to your kitchen. Laura, what's your pick of the haul? I'm going to go for the platters for it. I love the glaze, I love the gold, you can layer them. These are cool too. Really nice. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Oh, good. Thanks, guys. Yeah, it's like July. We haven't had any proper heat waves or anything, have we? It's not, it's not like July. Oh, it's no, it's June. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, I need some more sleep. Welcome to the Sherlock Show. <laughs> if anyone hasn't listened to the podcast, Charlotte had her civil wedding. So a week on, a week on Sunday. He literally didn't like propose. He was like, "Will you marry me? Will you speak at the wedding?" Was he was nervous about speaking? Does no, he no, no, he was speaking. As well. I think he thinks I've got loads of fabulous things to say about him. I know all the tradition, but why shouldn't everyone? No, speak? I agree. Would you speak if you had? No, absolutely not. No, not because I don't like the idea of it. I just have no desire to stand up in front of that many people and speak. So daunting. Yeah, yeah, terrifying. Really great, affordable interiors accessories. No, but I can be back with Deborah James, aka Balbi. And Deborah James was diagnosed with stage four cancer. The world was turned upside down. Suddenly, if you have a change in your bowel habits and you're concerned about it, go to the doctor. My advice to people is keep them going up because you know your body better than exactly. anybody else. Hopefully, stabilise me. And then on Monday, I start radiotherapy. If somebody had told me two and a half years ago I would have to undergo all these things, mm-hmm. I would have said, there is no way I'm going through that and would have bolted it out the front door. But you don't have a choice. I've got two young kids, like, I don't have a choice, you just carry on. The problem is with me is I know the reality is that my cancer is incurable, but that doesn't mean I can't live with it for as long as possible. How's that, guys? Incredible. Absolutely incredible. Can't really sort of meet her, you're like, she, I mean, she's literally got two children, and just, uh, she is insane. I just keep thinking about those children, I just keep thinking about her children. I just don't know how you, I just don't know how. I mean, she said she had those moments where she just, Looked at her children every day and cried. I don't know how you. Do, I don't know how you do that. I think you kind of me and I was chatting to her and I was thinking you're saying all this. You're sounding so normal. You're doing all these things. She got stage four cancer. That she can't be it's two children. I mean, she's not the only one. It happens to lots of people. It's just so shit, isn't it? It's just so shit. And there's nothing you can do. If it's gonna get you. It's gonna get you. Ultimately, you know. It's just not fair, isn't it? Hopefully we'll inspire some people watching. I liked her tips on how to help people that are going through cancer. It was great that she talked about some of the symptoms. Yeah, great to meet her, amazing woman. Georgie, what's on your desk? Oh, this is Amanda Harrington's Ooh, nice. revolutionary three-step tanning method for you. Launching the 3rd of June, so it's in Harvey Nichols now. So Amanda Harrington, the most respected, one of the best loved tanning experts, I guess. And she's all about sculpting the body via self-tan. Three key principal stages, prep, colour, contour. Face set, body set, prep, colour, contour. Apply an even layer all over the face and neck. Pre-tanning primer. It smell it. Smells like it's got a bit of tan in. Smells good. Illuminating bronzy mist with collagen and CQ10. Spray a small amount of the bronzy mist onto the face lifter brush. Buff in circular mode. Ooh. So get that because then you just get it in all the right. Pl- oh, Amanda's so clever! You can just feel how it really covers. Spread it and blend it. The prep is that. This is colour, and then to contour, you put one more spray on and just go over the cheekbones, sides of the nose, around the tops of the head and the jaw, and that's how you contour. Do you see? Turning and contouring at the same time, yeah. but you're using a darkening rather than an illuminator, so you're the opposite parts of that. Exactly. That is very cool. I'm going to use that tonight. And then there's a body one too. I've lost my primer. Where's it gone? Here. Yeah. Quite fun. It's like painting, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. Oh my god, that's really cool. Watch your sleeves. So much better than hands. It's pretty good calf muscle definition, by the way, Georgie. Thanks. Got to run the mother's race at sports day tomorrow. I'm hoping it's going to be rained off. Do you reckon you're going to win? I don't know. I hate doing it. But at least you do run. You're sure yeah, there's some I people know. stepping up to the plate that just don't. Love it if you do it. There we go. I'm done. Nice brown. Yeah. Golden brown. You've checked out the Amanda Harrington London Effortless Modern Tanning System. How do you feel? I think this is great. This is the business. Well done, Amanda. These are some Allbirds. Have you heard of Allbird trainers? I haven't heard of Allbird trainers. They're good. They're like one of the fastest growing trainer brands. The world's most comfortable shoes. They're environmentally friendly. Yeah. I think these are the wool ones. They're one of the fastest growing brands of the moment. They're based in San Francisco. All natural. Super comfy. They are doing seriously well. Feel them. Oh, that's made of wool. So comfy, I can't even explain. It's like wearing a slipper. It's like you're just walking on a cushion. It's literally dreamy. What do you think? Allbirds. Cool. Really nice. So 
Nice. I really like all birds. I think they're really cool. I think Leo to Leo are like invested in their business or something. Potentially. Laura, all birds? I love them. Really nice. Sam, all birds, yes or no? Yeah. Leonardo DiCaprio likes all birds. Yeah, all birds, yes or no? It's good enough for Leo. All birds, yes or no? Yes, yes, definitely. Yeah. Oh, I'm pleased with those. Oh, I know what I've got. The new Joe Loves fragrance. Oh, a rose petal. How pretty. Oh. How's it smell? Like of roses, of pure, pure, oh, pure wow. roses. That is intense rose. That's beautiful. Final, final, final thing, Rich. This is really exciting. It's from Heist. It started off as a hosiery brand and they now make shapewear. So this is probably the most exciting thing to happen to shapewear since Spanx. What? What is it? Feel that. It's like a body so you can wear underneath. It's a bit sort of wet suit. Kind of silicone neoprene-y. Uh, yeah, exactly. So you can wear that as shapewear or so nice with a pair of high-waisted shorts, a pair of denim shorts, festivals for the summer, beach parties, that kind of thing. Heist. Check them out. There you go. That's what's on my desk. What have we got? Oh, it's a cake. Woo! Ooh. Ooh. What have you found? Oh, heck, it's moved. Ooh. Ooh. Strawberries are a bit <laughs> oh, who wants some cake? Don't want the blurb. Strawberry and watermelon tea. Shake up your Thursday with Tetley cold infusions. Watermelon and strawberry flavour. Oh god, it's ice. Oh. It's not, it's watermelon. That is the meanest thing that anyone's ever done to us. <laughs> What's happened? We got sent a cake. Okay. She's right. But it's, it's a watermelon with, with icing on it. Oh, why? Why? That's mean. That is so mean. That is the worst cake I've ever seen. <laughs> that is <laughs> that's 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 absolutely gutted. How's it, yeah, how's it taste? It's quite nice actually. Yeah, no, just taste yogurt. Either Teddy logo, that's sugar. Share the Teddy logo. Share the Teddy logo. How does the Teddy logo taste? Mm, that was delicious. I'm so upset. Was that a success? No. Absolutely not. Rubbish. Charlotte Lake Collins, what's on your desk? Well, it's more what's on my floor. I had a slight panic about my holiday, wedding holiday. So I've done quite a lot of ordering and I've had some bits sent to me as well. First of all, summer pyjamas from a new brand. Honna, H-O-N-N-A. By the lovely Barbara. Right, for loads of publications. Yeah, she set up her own pyjama brand. Feel them, feel how nice and lightweight they are. Ooh, very lightweight. Okay, they're so nice. This is what it looks like. A really nice selection of different colours. I love the pink, personally, I like the kind of candy stripe. If you are looking for some special sleepwear that will last, I really recommend Honna London. Big fan of those. A lovely Neven Noor have sent me a beach caftan. It's just really pretty. I love Neven Noor. They're so, again another lovely boutique English label. I love this bridal version. And then some bits from Zara. I've got this. I don't always like this fabric on the high street. It can feel a bit cheap, a bit flammable. But I made an exception for this Zara caftan dress because I actually think this looks so expensive. I love things on holiday that you can literally just throw on over everything. Just so cheap. A really nice and oversized as well. That's a size medium. And it was $29.99. Very grown up. This is also from the same Zara order. Obviously, slip dresses are everywhere at the moment. I thought this one was really pretty because it's got a bit of difference to it. It's all the lace detailing up here, and then also it's got these lovely covered buttons down the middle. It is quite bridal, isn't it? Um, I'm going to wear it this weekend. We've got a pre-wedding, the navy blazer and some navy heels. I feel very bridal, but also very chic. It's available now, and it is $29.99. Mara Hoffman, pair of black high-waisted. These appear in real life to be extremely high-waisted, so we need to try this off. We, I need to try this off. Yeah, um, I'll leave <laughs> yeah it to you. you won't come to that bit. I just thought they look super flattering on the model. Right. Like they've got a tie detail, and then you can just wear them with so many different types of uni tops as well. Also, a little shout out to Matches Premier Delivery. Right. I ordered these at six o'clock this morning. They arrived at 10.30 this morning as well. That's insane. Really? Ordered at six in the morning, it came four hours later. Pretty damn okay. good. Isn't that cool? And that's what's on my desk. Okay, okay, so guys, guys, right. So this is it. Next time I see you, Charlotte, you are gonna be a wife. And next time I see you, Rich, you're gonna be a dad. Let's have a cheers to that. Cheers. Bye, guys. Bye, Bye Rich, good luck. Rich, Rich, Rich. Promise you'll text us as soon as you've got some news. I will do, yeah. Will you message me and I spread the word? Yeah. See you on the other side!